What's up my fellow strong kayak fishermen? Today I'm coming at you with four ways to improve your kayak fishing while watching Netflix. You know, last week I wrote a post comparing tournament kayak fishermen to athletes in other sports. You know, in other sports they say a complete player, you know, that's a guy that's great at all the different skills that's required to play their sport. They can do it all. They say that guy has all the tools. Or in baseball especially, they say he's a five-tool player. So I created a list of the five skills or abilities that make up a five-tool kayak fisherman. And at the top of the list to be a high-level kayak fisherman or fisherwoman, we need physical strength. I mean, we don't have to be football players strong, but we do need a decent amount of physical strength to get our kayaks out on the water, out on the fish, catch the fish, and then load it up and head it back home. And unlike if we're on a boat where we could just kind of just dump our boat in the water from a trailer, motor out to our fishing spot, stand the whole time on a stable platform that we don't have to physically manhandle it to prevent it from flipping over like we do in our kayaks. And there are four main areas of strength that we need to have if we want to be good kayak fishermen. And one of the strengths that is most basic and most overlooked is our grip strength or our hand strength. We need strong grip strength for almost everything we do in a kayak. Just to pick up our kayak and load it, uh, load it and launch it takes a lot of grip strength just to haul it around. Especially as our kayaks get more advanced with pedal drives, uh, they increase in size and weight all the time. And if we can't get our kayaks on the water to begin with, we're not going to catch many fish. This just in. Then, of course, we need grip strength for paddling our kayaks, especially if we fish in salt water where there's constant current. And a lot of times we're fishing shallow marshes or flats where we have to paddle even in pedal kayaks. Or when our pedal drives malfunction far from our launch and we have to paddle back. Then when we're landing our fish, we need to hold the rod in one hand and the net in the other, or when we have to pull anchor and we're pulling against a current or retrieving a stuck anchor. And that's just to name a few times we need grip strength when kayak fishing. So you know I'm all about creating workouts we can do off the kayak that will benefit us in the kayak and in our regular daily lives too. So today, I'm coming at you with the iron claw circuit for kayak fishing that you can do while watching Netflix. Okay, so our grip strength comes from our fingers and our forearms. So that's what this workout will focus on. And all these exercises you can do while watching TV. Because these aren't big sweeping movements that get you huffing and puffing or sweating up a storm. All you need is a pair of dumbbells and a place to rest your arms and some place to put your remote. Okay, so the first thing we're going to start with are finger swings. So we're gonna have our hands out to the side. We're gonna have our, we're gonna be holding the dumbbells with our fingers on the top. Just gonna to hold them out to your side and just bring them up. Just bringing them up. Gonna go 10 repetitions on these. Going 10. Eight, nine, and 10. Flip it over. Now we let it drop down. Curling up this way. It's all movement in the wrist. Hold the end of these dumbbells. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. So now we're going to do wrist curls. So with wrist curls, we need to get off the end of the bench, or you can do it off your knees even. But you got your hands off the end with your knees. You're going to drop the dumbbells all the way down into your fingertips, the ends of your fingers. Curl it up, roll it up, and then down. All the way down to your fingertips. Roll it up, then down. Just letting it roll each time. And I know these look like they're not much at all, but they make a huge difference. Pay huge dividends out on the kayak. When you're able to manhandle everything with your wrists and hands, it makes a huge difference. Eight nine go to ten and we're just going to flip it over now we're not going to be able to do the fingertips on this side but we're going to reverse curl or reversed reverse wrist curl i should say so let it hang down just picking them up four five and not only is this helping the kayak having strong grip strength wrist strength hand strength helps a lot of other things you do around the house uh, in daily life too They've done studies that have shown the most important thing that shows a man's lifespan and how long they're going to live is their grip strength. Don't know if it's true or not, but there's been studies that have shown that. Okay, 
So then we got the wrist curls. Now, we're gonna do dumbbell twists. So you take your hands off the end, um, straight out, turn them over and back. Turn them each way, as far as you can. Try not to use a lot of momentum. Keep control, you don't wanna pull on the wrists and pull on the tendons and ligaments. You just wanna keep control of it, spin it as far as you can. Like I said, this stuff, I, mean, I wouldn't say it's easy, but it's real easy to do just sitting in front of the couch, I'll tell you that. And you'd be surprised what it'll do for you later if you just take 10 minutes. It'll improve everything on the kayak. Maybe not pedaling, that'd be about the only thing. Good. And then, we're going to do reverse curls. So, you're gonna take the, you can get out to the edge, you're going to take the dumbbells in front of you and pick them up. So that's with your hands over the top. You can even take them out on the sides. With your hands over the top, pick them up. Letting them hang down straight. And you can probably go 10 to 15 repetitions on these as well. But getting that forearm strength. These mostly hit your forearms. Whereas a regular bicep curl, where your palms are facing away from you, that's gonna hit a lot more bicep. But when you got your palms face, facing back towards you, then you're using a lot more of your wrist, your fingers, and your forearms to do the work. Boom. Okay, so that was my Iron Claw Kayak Circuit you can do while watching Netflix. You'll be applying the Darth Vader Death Choke to anything you grab on or in your kayak. Until next time, dominate the water, dominate the kayak, and dominate the fish. Tight lines.